the Hoosiers tied the knot and got married not knowing they may only have a few years left to live. A couple has terminal disease called Huntington's disease. CBS 4's Mike Sullivan attended their wedding. They say secrets are no fun, unless you tell everyone. Can I tell them the secret? Only sometimes those secrets. Why you want to marry <clears throat> Zara? <clears throat> aren't always easy to say. He wanted to marry her because he knows that with HD, that they're gonna go to heaven sooner than later. And he wants to be with her in heaven. Till death do us part. That is truly the story of Sarah Smoother and Matt Weeks. She was funny. The pair suffers from Huntington's disease. A lot of times it's easier to explain it as if somebody were to have Parkinson's, ALS, dementia, and schizophrenia all together. Her mother, Terry. This is college. Still remembers those times. Graduating with her master's degree. Those normal times. Oh, in her sports pictures. <laughs> Her father had Huntington's, and his mother had Huntington's. Of their three daughters. I knew there was a possibility, a deep, a deep chance I, I would have it. She is the only one. The prognosis prompting suicide. Very emotional and sad. Sarah actually has had about three attempts. That was before she came here. Summerfield Healthcare Center in Cloverdale, the only all Huntington's facility in the country. We service a population that's often forgotten. Tashina Duncan is the administrator. You have been here for three years now, Matt? Matt Weeks is a fellow patient. Him and Sarah met here in activities, and Matt thought she was beautiful. I thought he was cute. Matt worked in the music industry. He even has a gold record. We decided to become boyfriend and girlfriend. The two understanding each other's path, no matter how short the road may be. Matt came to me in October, am I right? Launching Operation Get to the Chapel. Everybody else thought it was Operation Get to the Chopper, or like Arnold Schwarzenegger. A plan to propose at their annual prom. He didn't think he'd ever get married after he was diagnosed with Huntington's. He got down on one knee and he proposed. It's that moment that brings us to here. Is there anything else? Nope, just to finish the mission. One of the things that we do here is encourage them to live every moment that they have. A single step at a time. Love can be found where you least expect it. Yet it's in those times. And you. Buried amongst those key words. <laughs> that we find who we really are. I now pronounce you husband and wife. When your legs don't work like they used to before. It is going to be a sad day when one of them go first. But I think they're going to always look at the memories and the love that they have. Knowing all too well, love is eternal. In Cloverdale, I'm Mike Sullivan, CBS 4 News. Such a beautiful story there, Mike. Thank Congratulations. You very much.